This is an unboxing of the Galaxy S22 Ultra to find out what comes included in the box. And it looks like Samsung packed a full on football in here. Look at this. I do appreciate the more environmentally minded packaging. Um, and additionally, I'll be comparing the Galaxy S22 Ultra in size to the other flagships like the Pixel 6 Pro. We'll talk about some of the key new features here. And oh my goodness, what did Samsung include? Look at this. Oh, we got so many goodies. Wow. We got the super fast wireless charger. We got the Galaxy Buds 2. We've got the Galaxy S22 Ultra itself and knocked it out of frame. We have the silicon cover. Wow, tons of stuff packed in here. Now you might be wondering, Stetson, why did your Galaxy S22 Ultra come with all of these different things? Well, my friend, it's because if you order online on Samsung's website right now, I'll leave it linked in the video description, you can get $200 of bonus credit, which you can apply to get things like the Galaxy Buds 2 or even the wireless charger, or you can get a power adapter if you feel like you need that, or even possibly the Galaxy Watch. Tons of great options here. Let's start by unboxing the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Then we'll take a look at some of the included accessories and how they stack up. But first, the S22 Ultra itself, we've got two tabs on the back here. This starts at $1,200 uh, for the base 128 gigabyte model, which includes eight gigs of RAM. But if you upgrade, and currently Samsung is offering a promo where they upgrade you for free, wow, here it is, uh, you get the 256 gig model for the same price, and that includes 12 gigs of RAM. But wow, this is it. This is it in the hand, in the phantom black color. Wow, and we'll peel the little uh, screen protector off. Would it be bad if I tried to use this as a screen protector? Would the internet get mad at me? Don't do it, I'm kidding, I'm ripping it off. Uh, this is the phantom black color. It's available in burgundy, green, phantom white, and phantom black, which you see here. It's also available in some online exclusive colors, which include graphite, sky blue, and red. I'm curious, what color do you think is best Leave a comment below, or maybe I'll even do a, a poll, a live vote, and you can cast your vote. Uh, this is, wow, this is the Phantom Black. I am loving this design. And let's find out what else comes included here. Again, it starts at $1,200, goes up to $1,500 for the one terabyte model, which is expensive and currently sold out. And the only other thing included in this $1,200 phone, I mean, not a whole lot here. It's just this little uh, packet. Let's see what we got. Looks like we're getting a instruction booklet, a quick start guide, and we're also getting a USB-C to USB-C charging cable. I think this is about a meter, and that's it. Nothing else in the box here. No power adapter, no headphones, no nothing. Like, Samsung has really slimmed down on their packaging, and you can see it, honestly, in the box, just how uh, crazy thin that is. You're really just getting the device itself. Now, normally I would be, you know, it's nice to get some accessories included, but, as you have noticed, Samsung does just that. They give you the credit so you can choose which accessories you want to get. We will quickly take a look at these and then dive into some of the features of the S22 Ultra, as well as some size comparisons with some other flagships. But first, what do you get with these accessories? Super fast wireless charger. Looks like you get a wireless charging pad, a quick start guide, and a charging cable. And this is kind of just like a nice looking charging pad. It looks like it's got some ventilation here and you can just rest your phone down. So there you go. That's the wireless charging pad. Next, the Galaxy Buds 2. These are not the premium active noise canceling headphones. Those are the Galaxy Buds Pro, but they still should be pretty good. Uh, they're really tiny. I don't know if you've ever seen AirPods, but this case is super small. I would say a little bit smaller than AirPods, possibly a little bit wider. It depends on which generation AirPods you get. Uh, the case is white but the buds are black. So those are, I got these for free, you guys. Like these were included in a sense, not included in the, the actual box, but uh, included because I got them for free. And you can too, if you order online, USB type C charging port on the back. I'm assuming you get some other uh, tips in here. I'm not gonna do the full unboxing because we wanna move on to the main attraction, which is <laughs> the, the silicon cover. I'm just kidding, we'll quickly show you what this looks like. Watch out. All right, so this is it. I honestly really like it. It's got a great texture to it. And what I love is a microfiber lining that really feels like it's gonna protect the Victus glass on the S22 Ultra. I'll just quickly slap the phone in here so you can see what it looks like. Precise camera cutouts. Honestly, a great look. We got the uh, Samsung logo, of course. 
Uh, great texture, great feel, great way to add grip to your phone. One thing I'm not the biggest fan of is these like curved edges. I don't know, it just I feel like it looks a little bit weirder with the case on, I think. I prefer the flatter sides of the regular S22 or S22 Plus. That'd be my preference and the flat uh, glass as well. But there you go. Now let's move on to the main attraction, the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now you're wondering what's new with this guy. It's expensive. There's some new colors here. Uh, well, let's start with uh, the cameras. This is probably the biggest thing that Samsung focused on here. You have a total of four cameras on the back. The top one is going to be your 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. The middle one is going to be your 108 megapixel. You heard that correctly wide camera, but it's actually shooting 12 megapixel photos by default. What? What is going on there? Samsung is using something called Nona Binning, which combines nine pixels into one pixel for better low light performance and better noise reduction. Now they're also using a technology called Adaptive Pixel, which combines the full resolution 108 megapixel image with a Nona Bind 12 megapixel image for overall better detail and better noise reduction. So you're kind of getting the best of both worlds there. The bottom sensor is going to be your 10 megapixel, 10 times periscope zoom lens. Give you a close up on that. Really cool technology. And this can go up to 100 times zoom with Samsung's AI zooming and whatever wizardry they're using. And the one in the top right here, that's going to be your 10 megapixel, three times telephoto camera. And you might be wondering, what is this guy? I'm like 90% sure that's gonna be your laser autofocus system. Um, and also you have your flash there. So those are the new cameras on the S22 Ultra. And I'll show you some new features later in this video in the camera app. On the right hand side of the device, we actually have a couple things going on. Thing number one is I forgot to take the plastic off. Guys, there's plastic on the sides of this phone. Let me uh, struggle to take that off really quickly. Okay, that was not quick, but we got it. On the right hand side of the device here, you do have a cutout for your millimeter wave 5G antenna. And yes, this supports 5G on all networks, Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. Above that, you have your power button and then your volume rocker. I prefer this layout personally. Up top, we've got nothing. It's perfectly flat, which, fun fact, you can rest this phone upside down. It will stay there, but it will not rest on the bottom because you guessed it, we have the little bump from the S Pen, which causes it to wobble. So a little demonstration of that. So if you try it, it falls over. But yes, this Samsung Galaxy S phone has a stylus like a Galaxy Note, making it, in my mind, more like the Galaxy Note 22. So really cool that this is here. For all of you stylus fans, this device is gonna be the one to choose. You can do all sorts of stylus stuff with it. You also have your USB type C charging cable and your SIM card slot. One thing I wanna check is, is this phone a dual SIM phone? Samsung started shipping a dual SIM model Galaxy S21 FE. If we check this out, it looks like we have one SIM card. <gasps> no SIM card on the back, just this one slot. So it's a single SIM card device. Uh, it should have eSIM, but Samsung has been pretty terrible about supporting that. So uh, take it for what it's worth. On the front, we also have, there it is, kind of hard to see, but it's a 40 megapixel front facing camera. And on the front of this device, we've got an in-display fingerprint reader, pa-pow, works pretty quickly. We have a 6.8 inch quad HD plus display. And this display has something Samsung calls vision booster, which will automatically adjust the brightness and contrast of the display so you can more easily see it in bright environments, such as being outside or possibly in a studio like this under uh, bright filming lights. This is also an LTPO display, which means it will dynamically adjust the refresh rate from 10 Hertz all the way up to 120 Hertz. So you're getting that super fast, smooth, fluid responsiveness at 120 Hertz when you're navigating through the menu system and things like that. But the display will drop down to let's say 30 Hertz when you're watching a YouTube video that's 30 frames per second, 24 Hertz for a 24P YouTube video or a movie, things like that. So you get better battery life while still getting buttery smooth responsiveness. Now, I talked about some camera features. I wanna show them to you in the camera app itself, and then we'll compare this phone to some other devices I have nearby. Uh, we have the focus enhancer turned on right now. This is, I think Samsung just trying to enhance stuff. What I wanna check, is this phone in the 108 megapixel mode out of the box? We tap it. 
boom, you can see it is not. It is shooting 12 megapixel photos by default. I believe it is using the adaptive pixel technology for that. So if you do want to shoot a full 108 megapixel photo, you've got to tap on that button there and these will be huge in file size. So do keep that in mind. The other features are in video mode. So in video mode, there's a new button and it's uh, this button right there. This is called auto framing. And basically the idea, I don't know how well this works. It only shoots in 1080p, but the idea is as you're recording a video, let's say if you add a subject in here, this is a pretty dark subject, and we can add Galaxy Buds 2 a little bit brighter. The phone will dynamically adjust the framing to follow one subject to go wider when there's more subjects. I think it works way better with people. Um, get out of here, OneDrive. Uh, but there you go, it is a new feature. And if we tap on more, there's a bunch of other features for low light photography and things like that. Something else that I love that Samsung does is Pro Video. This gives you all of the video controls. You can see your left and right audio meters there. You can actually adjust the microphones and where they're pointing and what the volume is like. Tons of manual controls, the white balance, the focus, the exposure value, everything. It is awesome for creators and filmmakers. Unfortunately, I don't think Samsung has uh, come up to the level of the iPhone in terms of video quality, but it's still there and it's still gonna be a great fun tool uh, if you choose to get this device. Um, and again, you have all of your zoom modes for the photography on the bottom. 0.6 is the ultra wide angle camera lens. One is your main 108 megapixel sensor, again, shooting 12 megapixel photos by default. 3X is your 3X camera that is gonna be this guy right there. And then your 10X is that periscope camera that can zoom up to 100 times. Um, <laughs> this is not an environment to be testing that, but there you go. Those are some of the new features with the camera. It's also way better in low light photography. Samsung calls this nightography, night mode portraits, better uh, low light video, things like that. It's also shooting HDR video. Now, one thing I wanna mention related to the charging, this doesn't come with your uh, power brick or power adapter. This is what phones used to come with, 25 watt fast charging power adapter. This phone can support up to 45 watts but I've seen some articles already stating that the 45 watt fast charging doesn't actually charge this phone any faster. So you may not need to get any power adapters at all, but use what you already have. Finally, let's compare this phone to some other devices here. This, this is the S22 Ultra compared to the Pixel 6 Pro. Very, very similar in dimensions here. Uh, you can see the different camera layouts, very different. I personally love the uh, matte black, The phantom black that Samsung has created with their design. It kind of hides fingerprints a little bit better than the Pixel phone does. Uh, it looks great. Um, let's compare the widths here so you can kind of see both very thick. I think the S22 Ultra is a little bit wider because it does have that S Pen that it's got to house. So something to keep in mind. Um, and a huge battery on this phone, 5,000 milliamp hours. So that's kind of how it compares. If you have a Pixel 6 Pro, I would say very similar uh, Height-wise, uh, Galaxy is a little bit wider. They both have the rounded sides, the rounded edges, um, and similar displays where the display kind of curves into the glass. You can see that there. Let's compare this to the regular S22. Honestly, the, the S22 looks great. It feels great. It's compact. It's comfortable. I mean, this is still a big phone, especially compared to a couple years ago. But wow, compared to the S22 Ultra, it feels compact and it feels good. I think this is probably gonna be the better value play here for a lot of people. Still getting a lot of the same great features, more affordable and uh, better size. But Samsung did decrease the battery on this by 300 milliamp hours. So you may consider going with the S22 Plus instead. But either way, here's the side by side. You can see how much of a behemoth uh, the uh, S22 Ultra is. Honestly, somewhat similar in thickness, I think. S22 Ultra are gonna be a little bit thicker there, um, but yeah just how these how these compare. And Samsung actually is a great comparison tool on their websites. So if you want to compare phones side by side, uh, you can totally do that as well. And one other phone I wanted to compare it to is actually the S20 Plus. You see, honestly, the S20 Plus just doesn't look good to me anymore. Uh, either way, pretty similar in dimensions here. S22 Ultra, a little bit taller and gonna be a little bit wider as well. Um, and it's, it's thick, but surprisingly similar surprisingly similar uh, either way like that's that's kind of it that's the comparison this is the new phone are you getting it which one are you getting what model are you getting 
uh, let me know with a comment below. Either way, that's gonna be it for this video. Click the like button if you found it helpful and share this video with one friend who's thinking about getting the Galaxy S22 Ultra. And be sure to let me know what color you're getting and storage model in the description down below. And are you getting a deal on it? I did a video on the best S22 Ultra deals. You can get this up to $1,000 off from Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile. Uh, so definitely be sure to check that out. Or maybe you should buy it unlocked from Samsung. Either way, leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to these Patreon supporters for making videos like this possible, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.